Hello everyone, welcome back to Prep Talk Podcast. I'm your host Vartika Bhandari and we are back with another episode on another AP subject. This episode covers AP Environmental Science and to take this podcast further, we have with us Chudela's in-house science specialist, Samendra Singh. Hello Samsar, how are you? I'm good Vartika, how are you doing? I'm doing good. So, how do you feel coming back for the second time on our podcast? I definitely feel very good. I feel exalted because we have had a very good response to my last podcast, which was all about AP Biology. And I really hope to be equally helpful or even more helpful as compared to the last time. Thank you so much. Good to hear. So, let's get on to our first question. How would you describe AP EVS as a subject and as an exam? AP Environment Science is one of the several AP science exams. It deals with different concepts related to environmental science. Mm -hmm. For example, energy resources, sustainable development, global climate change. Mm -hmm. So all the things which are immensely relevant in today's times. So that's what this exam is about. Right. So as we read more about APs, you know, which is the hardest subject and which is the easier subject, AP EVS comes around a lot of time as an easier subject as compared to the rest of AP subjects available, be it in science or any other uh, subject. So what is your opinion on that? Easy is not the exact term that explains this exam, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. uh, I'd say it's going to depend on who exactly you are. Mm -hmm. Are you someone who relates more to the current affairs related to uh, global warming mm -hmm. or global climate change? Are you interested in the news or all the things related to sustainable ways of using energy, sustain sustainable sources of energy? Mm -hmm. If you are that kind of student, then I think you might find this exam very interesting. So anybody with an interest about environment? Person? Yes, yes. Okay, so coming on to the next question, what kind of students should appear for AP EVS exam? Different kind of students go for this exam. Mm -hmm. If you are someone who's aiming for corresponding courses which will use this exam's credits, for example, aerospace engineering, mm -hmm. then we have architecture, chemical engineering, civil engineering, environmental sciences, of course, mm -hmm. natural resources and management, all those courses will have the implementation of this exam. So if you are those, you know, one of those students, then this exam is for you. Now, this reason that I have given is only keeping in mind the university courses that you are aiming for. Right. Otherwise, if you are not fitting in, you know, this category of students, then again, it's not that this exam is totally irrelevant to you. Mm -hmm. You can... Do it if you are also doing something in biology in your school because mm -hmm. several things here overlap with the biology content. For example, uh, a lot of stuff here is related to ecology mm -hmm. and ecology happens to be a very important part in school biology curriculum also. And then let's assume you don't fit in this category as well. Then if you like reading, mm -hmm. if you are good at reading and if you are also good at analyzing data, interpreting data, and, you know, designing the experiments, then you can do very good here. This skill is going to be used in this exam. So those kind of students, all these three kind of students mm -hmm. can go for this exam. Right. So since you spoke about AP Biology having a similar topic uh, and syllabus as AP EVS. Like AP Biology or similar. even School Biology also. Hmm. Somewhat yes. similar. Yeah. So we get a lot of questions uh, from students asking what other AP subject would complement AP EVS. Right. So what are your suggestions on that? AP Biology. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, because in AP Biology also we have a significant percentage given to ecology mm -hmm. and that is a part here also so mm -hmm. if you're doing ap biology it will you know it will complement ap mm -hmm. otherwise you can if if you're doing uh, ap chemistry also mm -hmm. then also you can go for this because in ap evs we have different biogeochemical cycles so and different things are there you mm -hmm. read about water being a very important uh, you know compound of life mm -hmm. so having some knowledge of chemistry will help you here 
so what are some important topics which are you know uh, good scorers for student that they should not miss good question actually uh, we have different topics the whole mm-hmm. curriculum is vast in ap ebs mm-hmm. uh, all the topics are equally important i won't say that i won't advocate one topic over the other one mm-hmm. the whole thing is very important but however if you are uh, in a time crunch and mm-hmm. you want to get maximum out of the preparation that you are doing then there are some topics that are relatively having more weightage as compared to the other topics hmm. so some topics for example we have energy and resources mm-hmm. you know energy resources are how, uh, the unit that talks about the sustainable development the current ongoing energy sources that we have fossil fuels burning and then hydro uh, energy and all these different energy sources this unit alone takes up 10 to 15% of the whole exam other units that take up 10 to 15% of the whole exam are earth systems the unit that talks about different uh, systems that work on earth for example the tectonic plates mm-hmm. uh, the way tectonic plates move continental shifts oceanic currents mm-hmm. wind patterns throughout the world and how you know how things affect the climate at a particular area how does weather come in place so all those things are discussed in earth systems then we have population ecology so ecology has three different chapters here but then the population ecology is the most important one since it has 10 to 15% of the overall uh, percentage of the whole course okay. apart from this the heaviest percentage is given to a very short unit so this is the one that you can start preparing with however for this you need some background knowledge of different topics the name of this unit is global change this is a unit where we can see the most relevant stuff uh, related to what's the ongoing situation in the world mm-hmm. we see global climate change we see oceanic levels rising glacier you know glacier melting human impacts on the overall environment so those things are discussed in this unit so this one takes up 15 to 20% so i'd say this is the most important one in terms of weightage in the final exam so now that we are through with the important topics that fall under ap evs let's talk about the format of uh, how the ap exams are given so the exam like most of the other exams mm-hmm. this exam has two sections first mm-hmm. section is going to be multiple choice you'll have four mm-hmm. answer choices and the overall duration for this multiple choice section is 1 hour 30 minutes mm-hmm. and you will see a total of 80 questions there mm-hmm. the multiple choice section alone takes up 60% of the whole exam mm-hmm. okay the the score that you get if you score 100% on multiple choice and nothing on the other section you get a 60% score mm-hmm. then the second section is free response generally known as the essay section mm-hmm. where you see three questions first question second question third question all these three questions will always be uh, you know a, fixed format mm-hmm. question 1 will always ask you to design you know an investigation they'll give you a scenario and then they'll ask you to design an investigation question 2 will give you an environmental problem mm-hmm. they'll give you an example of that and you will be required to come up with the solution of the same you will be given the data and then you'll have to analyze that data mm-hmm. come up with a solution question 3 is similar to question 2 where you do come up with a solution but this time using calculations this second section is of 1 hour 10 minutes duration mm-hmm. taking up 40% of the overall uh you know weightage of the whole exam calculator is allowed throughout the exam so that's okay. about the overall format okay good okay so now that we know how uh, exam has to be taken and important topics that the student should consider the main thing that the students might be interested in are the tips that how they should prepare and how they should appear for exams yeah of course the exam is i'd say it's a lot of theory hmm. right it's a lot of theory so if you are planning to to go for this exam make sure to first of all schedule everything right you you make a plan etch out a plan uh, where you will be giving specific duration to specific topics mm-hmm. in a way that you end up covering the whole course topic by topic then uh, when you are going through all the concepts make sure to prepare concise notes notes making is very important very crucial 
and usually something which people you know don't pay too much attention to but this is a very crucial point because when you make notes then when you come back to those things you don't have to go through the whole you know paragraphs from mm-hmm. the books you just have to go through your notes and it will all be there in your mind in one second mm-hmm. uh now that you have made notes also time to start testing yourself doing a lot of reading and knowing all the concepts makes sense but we shouldn't forget what are we doing this for end of the day you have to give the exam so make sure to test yourself on different exam formats mm-hmm. you have to go through the multiple choice questions also and then also test yourself on essay writing that's where students lose maximum points despite knowing a lot of stuff mm. in order to score better on the free response section the essay section make sure to use specific terms technical terms instead of using vague terms and don't make bullet points in the exam don't make pointers they hate those right it's mm-hmm. essay section it should look like an essay right. write big paragraphs relevant terms should be there and end of the day you will be done with the whole thing right coming on to our last question what is the best time for the student to appear for ap exam and uh, what time should they give for the preparation till the end point like till finally appearing for the exam so the exam gets administered once a year in mm-hmm. may mm-hmm. ideally you should start preparing for it on your own Mm-hmm. 9 months prior to the exam dates for example the exam is to be given in may 2022 mm-hmm. you better start preparing for it like in september of 2021 or something mm-hmm. like that if you haven't started preparing then and you are just left with like 3 4 months with you mm-hmm. then i think you'll need some expert guidance mm-hmm. but it's not that it's not undoable okay when should a student take it during what time of their school years i think you can go for it in the starting of your 12th mm-hmm. but if you want to test yourself twice on it uh, that's not a very usual case but then you can co- you can do it in the starting of your 11th also but make sure the number of ap attempts that you give all the scores get presented to the university unless you request one of your scores to be withheld or cancelled okay so there is a possibility of withholding a Yeah, you can from... request it. Yes. Okay. Good. So with this, we end our podcast for today. Thank you so much for being here, Samir sir. Thank you so much, Vatika. It's been very nice. Thank you. So for all our listeners, we have a podcast on six more APs lined up, so you can check that out as well. So if you're liking our segment of podcast, then don't forget to follow our channel for more college test prep content. Stay tuned, and we will see you in the next one. Bye bye.